Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily change the color hue or the hue of the color in your material editor through a simple use of several nodes that will allow you to do the same. Now, hue as a shading of a color is one of several elements of any process of light mixing and how we perceive colors in general but there are a range of ways how you can use hue and edit hue and impact hue in your games to produce a result you might be looking for now of course when you select the color at the first place you can change the hue and get the exact color you want to have however through the use of these nodes you can get the same but you can also manipulate it through time, through location and many other elements in the material editor itself. So let's get to it. First of all, of course, we're going to create a new material, which we're going to call Hue. And we're going to double click on it to open it up. And now we have our basic Hue setup of the same material where we're going to use the base color, but we're going to use several additional nodes. First of all, we're going to create a constant tree vector, which is going to be the place where we're going to select our primary color. So we're going to right click and go for vector constant tree vector. And I'm going to choose something, let's say greenish and connect it to my base color. Now I need to save it, give it a moment or two for it to load properly in the preview menu and have it in the editor or have it visible in the editor itself which takes a bit of time as my computer is not the newest one in the world now we have our basic color and we want to manipulate it to do that i'm going to break this chain i'm going to break this connection more precisely not this chain and i'm going to right click and search for hue shift Here's the node that you use it to actually change the hue of any input you might have. So the color in this case, it's not texture, but it could be texture as you can see vector three. Uh, I can connect it here. And for the hue shift percentage, I'm going to use a simple constant node. So not constant three, but only constant. Here it is. And that I'm going to connect to the hue shift percentage. The results will go into the base color. So right now the constant node is at zero and the output is going to be zero as well, which we'll see in a moment. The constant node should go between zero and 1.0, which is basically the exact same position on the, if you can imagine it, that color circle where you have different hues this is the starting position while zero is the starting position while number one is the same position the whole circle around so if i set the constant node to one it should present the very same hue so i'm going to save again it's going to load and it's going to take a few moments before the preview is ready but when it's ready it should be the exact same output as the input that you can see here however anything between 0 and 1 is going to provide a different hue part of me wants to say a different shade of the color but shading is something different but I'm to demonstrate I'm going to set it to 0.5 and now I'm going to again save, wait a few moments before the preview is ready and the new hue will be the output that the same node generates. It's on halfway there and you see it, it changed the hue to this particular, again I want to say shade but it's not shade, this particular color, this particular hue and the same would go if I for example, place 75. Again, I'm saving, waiting for it to load. 
once it loads once it finishes the hue will again be different and again present something that is another hue and with that you can simply change the hue you can add different nodes you can pre-program the whole setup to do whatever you want it to do or whatever you want it to kind of present in your game but when it's done you're going to use it like any other regular texture that you want to choose from you can also place these as variables that you can manipulate in real time and do a bunch of other stuff as well however that's the point of the hue shift node and how you use it with this setup you can change the hue not only of vector 3 of constant 3 vectors but basically any other texture material you want to manipulate so there you have it that's all for this short beginner tutorial hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it practical if you did please consider supporting me on patreon a buck or two per month from you would be more than amazing to help me make these videos and make other content as well on my youtube channel if you don't have any money and i'm betting most of you don't please simply consider subscribing leaving a like leaving a comment if you have any questions and coming back for more because i make one tutorial unreal engine video per week so each wednesdays in general you can find new content and of course there's a bunch of other content you can find on my channel related to unreal i do a bit of everything actually i'm trying to learn it step by step from a range of vectors get it but if you're a total beginner you can probably find something that will be useful for your particular project or a thing that you're working on right now there you have it once more that's the end of this tutorial again hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it interesting thanks for being here until the very end and i'll see you on my next unreal engine beginner tutorial video until then have loads of fun in your unreal engine projects bye bye